grumpy cat all the time. Yep. Well, give me, give me some to talk about that in class. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Let's get them in. Let's share this out. Go. Get that going. <clears throat> Good morning, Kiasha. All right, Quay's there. There we go. All right, guys, we'll give everybody about two more minutes as they're getting in here. Um, as you can see, you're going to need that movie mogul packet uh, for the majority of you. I delivered that to you guys yesterday. Uh, the one that says Tuesday on it is the one you're gonna want today. I'm gonna go through that pretty quick and then I'm gonna let you know what you gotta do. And then today's gonna be kind of gonna be a little bit different for us because it's gonna be like a total you work day and getting this done. There we go. Let's get a couple more people in here and then we will get started. Ooh, Mr. Eggers left his mouse behind. He might need that. I don't know where he is, so we'll figure that out. One leg. So I don't remember what room. Do you remember what room he's in? Because they have science working. That's right, he's teaching social studies. Can you run it over for him real quick? All right, here we go. We're going to give everybody one more minute, and we're going to get started. Everybody here in class is ready. We are missing a lot of people online. But there's Sherrod. Morning, Sherrod. How are you today? Octavian's checking in. Zanaya's got to get that camera started so we are good to go. If you've got your notes from yesterday, we took some vocabulary notes from yesterday. That is going to be super helpful for today. Um, so you might want to take those out. That's going to help understand a couple things that you want we're talking about. E-Man's already got his ready to roll. We are looking solid. All right, I got 813. I got a whole lot of people who aren't here. Yikes. That's not cool. All right, uh, game plan for the rest of the week looks like this, folks. We're going to jump in. Instead of doing lessons 22 and 23, um, there are two parts to this movie mobile packet that we're going to do today and tomorrow. Uh, the first one talks about some real-life data, uh, probably some movies, a lot of movies that you have seen. Um, and then tomorrow is going to be, you get to make the decision as to what kind of movies we are going to make. Um, so for the handful of you that are here, um, it was nice to be able to see you for a change. Um, popped by, dropped those off at your houses last night. That was fun. Um, for the couple of people that I could not connect with, I sent those to you digitally, both in class here on Google Classroom, or uh, sent them to you by e email as well. We're going to do those things today and tomorrow. Office hours this afternoon, by appointment only. If you want to meet, just come, let me know. Shoot me an email, um, and then I will know to expect you there. Uh, we'll keep in mind that end of module test is coming up on Thursday. That's coming quick, um, so that'll be on us. And then uh, next week, we start module six, last module of the year, wrapping up pretty fast. Exit ticket scores from yesterday were rock solid rock solid there were only if i remember right there were only nine assignments that did not get turned in on time across the entire seventh grade which is pretty fantastic unfortunately there was a one from at least one from every section but our scores looked like that mlc blowing everybody out of the water every every exit ticket for mlc that was turned in was a perfect four wlc was close our remote crew had a couple people that was like mm, maybe we need to ask a couple more questions just seeing that difference of what was there. Um, so that is going to be a huge help there. As we start the fourth quarter, that WLC gets the win and that 100 point bonus. Holy smokes, 100%. Yowza. Uh, WLC, you guys get the bonus points for having that above 60%. Remote crew missed out on points today. That's all right. We're going to change that. This should be you to order from now on. We'll change that tonight. That way we're set, ready to go. But there we are, day one. 
MLC starting off with a solid two point victory. Uh, and we will go from there. I do have our list updated to include like when tests are that in module six, there's gonna be a couple of days um, down here where you can see like they're way out of order that we're doing that on purpose um, because we wanna get these topics in before we get to our forward exam. Why? Because these three lessons here in particular, 16, 17, and 19, um, I know our lessons that are on the forward exam. And if we do them in the right order, we won't see them until after. And that's not fair to you guys. I want to be able to show you everything you're going to need to know before we take that test. Um, so we're going to move some things around. So module six um, around the midpoint is going to look a little weird because lessons will just be all over the place. So we are there. Uh, my friends who are now joining me, perfect. Got most everybody here. You need this packet today. For the majority of you, I brought it to you guys last night. It was great seeing everybody. Um, if you're connecting and you don't have a physical paper copy of this, you want the digital one. And you're gonna need some paper to take some notes on uh, because you will be turning some stuff in today uh, that way. Uh, I talked yesterday about just talking about IA test scores. So let's get there because we got results from IA number three. IA number three dropped a little bit. <clears throat> And that's okay. It happens. It was a longer test. There's a lot of things that led into it. Here's who we have as proficient and advanced from IA number three. Come on, click over. There it is. Uh, we had one person left in advance, and that was Judah. And then our proficient crew was Naeli, Lavelle, Malik, Lewis, Kobe, Zaria, Simone, Sophia, and Gabe. And then there were four people that were one question away from proficient. That was Ashari, Amos, Madison, and Anea. And then there were six that were two questions away, and there were another five or six that were three questions away. So we got a bunch of people that are like super close to breaking through that barrier, which is awesome to see. Now we just got to bring that game and get there. So there we go. Last practice test before the forward. Not horrible results. It's not what we were looking for. We were looking for a little bit more. Um, especially after how, what we saw for num test number two. All right. Uh, devotion today, part two of the beginning of the story that we started yesterday. Let me switch my camera over for video. I got a bunch of cameras that are off that should be on. Make sure that they are on. Otherwise, you won't be here, and then you'll miss what you need to see. Here we go. Uh, my virtual crew, I know my people here can see it. Give me a thumbs up if you're seeing the Bible project on what looks like parchment paper. Awesome. Thanks, Naomi. Thanks, Lola. Thanks, Gabby. Awesome. Here we go. Make that bigger. We're walking through the book of Genesis, which is made up of these two main parts. And the first part begins in the garden, where we watch humanity spiral downward in self-destruction. And it ends in the Tower of Babel, where rebellious humanity zooms in and focuses on just one family. And right in the middle is this story that links the two parts of Genesis together and helps us understand what the whole book is all about. So how do we get from the Tower of Babel to the story here in the middle? Well, after the scattering at Babel, there's this genealogy, and it follows one of the tribes all the way down to this one guy named Abram. You probably know him as Abraham. And God starts making all these promises to Abraham, like he's going to bless him and give him a ton of kids. And he says that through him and his family, all the nations of the earth are now going to find God's blessing. So basically, God is trying to restore humanity back to the goodness of the garden and to his original intentions for the world. So it's like his rescue plan for humanity. And that's why the whole second half of Genesis is about this one family. And so you have, you have Abraham, and then he has a son, Isaac, who has Jacob, and then Jacob has 12 sons. And to each generation, God renews his promise to bless them and all nations through them. So because of this promise to use this family to rescue the world, it's pretty easy to read these stories as examples of how to be a good person. But actually, for the most part, this family is totally dysfunctional. So for example, let's go back to Abraham. This whole story is about God giving him and his wife Sarah a family, but two different but times. He basically gives Sarah away 
to other men by denying that she's even his wife. And then Sarah gets impatient about having a son, and so she makes Abraham sleep with her servant girl, which then causes all of these other problems in the family. So they get really old, and you begin to think that there's no way they're going to have a kid of their own. But then, miraculously, they do. It's Isaac. And Isaac, he has two sons, Esau and Jacob, and it seems like things are going pretty good. But Jacob... The younger brother wants the family's inheritance, which belongs to Esau, the older brother. So he devises a plan where he's going to steal it from his father, Isaac, who at this point in the story is now old and blind. Which who does the horrible stealing from your blind father? Yeah, and then he just takes off. So Jacob goes on from there to have 12 sons, big family. But Jacob loves his 11th son, Joseph, way more than all the others. And so he gives him the special technicolor dream coat and his brothers because of this come to hate him so much so that they plan on killing him but they don't they instead just sell him as a slave down in egypt now while in egypt through this crazy series of events joseph goes from being in a prison cell to becoming the second in command there and so later on the the whole middle east falls into this food shortage and joseph's brothers they come down to egypt looking for food and then when they get there who should they find as the ruler of the whole land? It's Joseph, that guy they sold into slavery. But he actually saves them from starving to death. And so here you have it. These are the great-grandchildren of Abraham who have done this heinous act to their brother. But God has transformed their evil into something good. And that's exactly what Joseph says here in the last paragraph of the entire book. He says, you guys planned all of this for evil, but God planned it for good, to save people's lives. Now these words, they conclude the book because they actually summarize the message of the whole story so far. Humans keep choosing evil, and we are thinking they're, they're screwing up God's plan, but he keeps turning their evil back into good. And somehow, he's going to use this family to restore humanity back to the garden. So that's the book of Genesis. But we still don't know how exactly he's going to use this family to bring us back to the garden. Well, yeah, but this is just the first book, so that's what the rest of the Bible sets out to answer. Hey there, I'm Tim. And this is John. We believe the best way to understand the Bible is to get a handle on its overall storyline, as well as the individual design of every book. If you're wondering... Ah, there we go. Man, that took a second to stop. There we go. So, Genesis, recapping that whole story as to where, why what's happening is happening leading us towards that story we're going to talk more about on Easter as we keep getting closer and closer. One, to Easter. Then two, I know you guys are excited, Easter break. Yikes, come soon. All right, let me get my camera switched over for you guys. Let's stop sharing that. We need this guy over there. All right, here's what I've got out on my desk, and it looks like everybody here has it as well. I've got my notes from yesterday. My camera's going to be all, being all weird again today. Please keep working. Not cool. There it goes. Where'd it go? This is the technology piece that I don't like. There we go. Okay. Camera functioning. Are we going to work today? I hope so. There it goes. All right. I've got my notes from yesterday, a little vocabulary that we talked about, things we wrote down, things are going to be helpful for today. If you have that, great. It's going to be super helpful. Um, but you can't see that because I'm not sharing my screen yet. Give me a second so my people online can see it as well. Let's turn it off for video. Thanks for fixing the cameras. Awesome. Let's get you there. Trinity, thanks for giving the heads up on that. I appreciate just letting you understand the connection issue. I get it. If you need to reconnect, that's totally fine. All right. The other thing you're going to need today is this movie mogul project called Greenlight. I want to go over a couple of things today. Um, it's going to be a lot of work time. Your exit ticket today is this packet. Your goal is to have this packet completed and turned in by the end of class. And if you don't get them by the end of class, you've got until 4 o'clock today to do that. Uh, my friends here in the room, 
You don't need to turn anything in on Google Classroom. You can just actually hand me the packet when you're done with it. Uh, remote crew, if you'll notice, I'm going to drop on Google Classroom shortly. You're going to need to send pictures of your work. If you don't have this packet, because for some reason we couldn't connect yesterday, you're going to need to do your work on a separate page and then just send that to me that way. Here's what we're going to do. Let's turn page. Let's take a look at this real quick and see what we got. We're actually talking about some famous movie franchises here today. And we want to do a little data investigation as to what is going on with these movies. We're looking at franchises like the Avengers and Batman, Harry Potter's on there, Lord of the Rings movies. Um, doesn't have all of the Hobbit movies. That's okay. They can't be perfect. Uh, Shrek's on there. A bunch of the Star Wars movies, X-Men. Now, this data isn't totally accurate and up to date. This is from a couple of years ago. So you'll notice there aren't like some brand new movies on here, but these are all the actual real dollar amounts that these movies brought in at the movie theaters in millions of dollars. Yep. Millions of dollars. So that first Avengers movie, Iron Man brought in $353 million. Yikes. That's a lot of money. There's going to be some questions. You're going to look through this data, answer the questions on the bottom of page one. Take a look and figure out, you know, which one was earned the most, which one earned the least. Can you predict just by looking at this, which one do you think is the most successful? A fairly easy process. Any, you want to take a guess at it? You think Star Wars maybe? Could be. Like, they got a lot of movies, don't they? Yeah, got a, I see a bunch of big numbers in there, too. Very well could be. Let's turn the page. Let's walk through everything that you're going to need to do today, and then I'll take some questions. Now, on the back of page two here, what I want you to do is scratch out the column that says mean absolute deviation. That whole right column, cross it out. It is a data metric. Honestly, unless you're going into data analysis, you will never use in your life. I, I The only time that I've ever done that was for a statistics course that I had to take in college. In business, never once used mean absolute deviation for anything in 15 years of running a business. Just wasn't an, a measurement that actually works. But you're going to find the mean, the median, and range for all of those movie franchises. Some calculations going to be run today. So if you got your calculators, that's going to be super helpful. There's a list here for mean and median. Put the franchises in order. So I'm, going to start, I'm just going to make a note. Put them in order. Smallest to largest. Do that for mean and median. And if you need to abbreviate, like if you just want to say pirates of the, if you just want to say pirates or pirates of the Caribbean, that's fine. If you just want to say fast or fast and furious, that we don't have to write so much. That's totally fine. Just let me, I'll figure some sort of way out that you're doing that. There are some questions there analyzing your data. I'll make sure to answer them. There's only three. Then the last page. This one you get to be a little creative. If you want to add some color, you can add some color. Select either your mean or your median data from the last graph. So this is going to be from table on page two. What I want you to do is I want you to create a bar graph. Kind of show, show me, like, what's the comparison between these movies? You know, make some bars, label them out. So I need, I need titles. I need labels. I'm guessing this is going to be maybe money. Make sure that your graph is labeled accordingly. Now, the last part here on the bottom of page three, you can do the same thing. Cross out the mean absolute deviation. We're not measuring it. So it wouldn't make sense for you to have to put that in order. So that's totally fine. You can cross that part out. Then because we're actually not going to do that measurement, these three questions you can skip. Because it doesn't make sense. We're trying to try to compare mean absolute deviation to range, but we're not actually going to solve for the MAD. You don't need to worry about those comparisons. So if you need some more space to fill out your range, you got a little bit more space there. Great practice 
getting us ready for our test. What questions do you guys have so far just on the surface? I got one, two, three, four cameras that have turned off that were on at the beginning. Those need to be on. Otherwise, you'll just be removed from our virtual class. And that's not cool. Thanks for fixing that. All right. I'm not seeing any questions. Don't see anybody leaning in on that. If you don't have an actual physical copy of this packet, there is one. I emailed it to you if I didn't get able to connect with you um, in person yesterday. It was great seeing all of your shiny faces. Um, and being able to meet you guys in person for a lot of you for the first time. That was pretty awesome. Uh, two, there's a digital copy available on our Google Classroom. And I'm actually going to go in right now and just drop that exit ticket assignment for today. Morning, Mr. Ricky. Round number two is currently brewing. All right, this packet is due. Hopefully you can get this done by the end of class. It should not be a problem. If you finish early, use the rest of your time. Get some of your Alex done. There were a handful of missing assignments from yesterday. Let's get those knocked out. Otherwise, the rest of the time today is going to be work time for you to complete this packet. I'm going to leave this up on the screen just in case you need it. That way you don't have to bounce back and forth. I'll even zoom in a little bit so we can kind of get those numbers a little bit better. Otherwise... Time to work. Carl. Yeah. So you're going to kind of look at all of them. So for these first couple of questions, you're going to kind of look through the whole graph and say, what do I notice? What do I see? Um, what, what kind of trends am I picking up on? For the work back in, like which movie earned the most money and which movie earned the least amount of money. When I go through all of those boxes, I know the uh, the table on page two is going to take a little bit more work. I need to use those vocabulary terms that we used yesterday to be able to answer those questions. Ladies and gents, I'm going to turn my computer around so you can see everybody in the classroom because I'm going to be wandering and helping there. So we're just going to turn this around for a hot second. There we go. Uh, can they see you, Sophia? No, they can't because they are not currently logged in. So they can't see you, but I can. So, but now you can see the backs of their heads anyway, which isn't really exciting. All right, to give you guys some screen a space to work, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. That way, you guys have a little bit more screen space to work. Thank you. 
So that it goes in order. You got questions, guys? Don't be afraid. Drop them in the chat. Let me know what you're stuck on. Let me know how I can help. Uh, I did want to give a couple quick shout outs because there were some cool things that I saw happening on Alex last night. Um, let me get that up. But I saw there were some people that got some work done yesterday, which was awesome to see, especially on Monday. Hey, Naeli, nice job breaking that 90% barrier. 91%, you're getting so close. Love it. Um, Alex, topics that were done yesterday. There were a bunch of people that had three or four done yesterday, so it was huge. Awesome to be able to see that much progress already on a Monday. Very nice, especially fourth quarter. This is when motivation needs to get dialed in high. Uh, Layla, nice job getting three topics done yesterday. Promise, same thing. Also three topics done yesterday. Nicole got three done yesterday. Who else? There was a couple of them that I thought I saw. Handful of ones, handful of twos. Oh, yeah, cat. Katrina got four done yesterday. It's nice work all around. Uh, we're off to a great start. Yeah, these are big calculations that I would not expect you to do on paper. Especially because you're looking at you're looking at lots of multiple three-digit numbers with decimals. Yeah, you can absolutely use the calculator on that. Kobe, thanks for joining us. Uh, a couple things just so you're aware we are working on. There's a packet on our Google Classroom today. Movie Mobile green light. Uh, there are some pages on here that you'll need to complete today. Uh, you can cross off when you get to it on page two where it says mean absolute deviation. You can cross that section off. And then there's a graph on the back of page three. You can skip the bottom as well. You got any other questions? 
drop it in the chat for me. These are helpful instructions. We got to make sure we are here on time. Yeah. It's interesting, Lorelai. I wouldn't say that it's more difficult. It's just now we're trying to changing directions again. Um, and a day like today is actually relatively easy because I can kind of sort through and watch because you guys are doing the work on your own today. Um, so if you've got questions, drop them in the chat for me. I'll keep cycling through to make sure that I'm answering them. Otherwise, your goal is to have this packet submitted by the end of class today. And if you don't get it done by the end of class, you want it done by 4 o'clock today. I need three pictures, page one, page two, page three. Um, this one, this is like a book that I have. Thank 